let's create some contrasting cutout edges around whatever element you have on your layer. This script will work on vector objects, raster layers, or even text. So simply put, you have to activate a layer, run the script that is called Cutout Edges, and then you get the option to choose the thickness of the edge, let's say 25 pixels, and the color of the cutout. So maybe in this case, I'm going to pick a green from the photo. It will create the outline and even add some shadows to give it a little 3D effect. Do I want another one? Yes, sure, I might as well. So now the script will stop so I can choose a different layer. Maybe I will go with the title here, make a wish, and I run it again. Because it is a vector, I'm prompted to here choose the stroke color. So maybe in this case, I'll choose white and the stroke width. And that will be it. And let's make another one. Let's do this blue arrow. So I'll scroll down to the blue arrow. Run the script again. And again, I can choose the stroke color. Maybe I want yellow, the stroke width, maybe I want 25. And I can also change the fill color if I really want to have something different. Maybe I want a gradient or a pattern. And let's do another one. Let's do that yellow star. Again, because it's a vector, I get this option here. And for the stroke, I'll just use white. And let's make another one for that purple star. I run again. And maybe I'll use white again, and maybe this time I'll make it 35 pixels. And now I'm done. I don't want any other. And if you look in the layers palette now, every shape has its base. This is the outline for it. You can see how it is separate. And you have two separate shadows. Everything is linked together, meaning if you want to move it, everything will move along. So this is one way to run this script to create various outlines that are cut out. However, maybe you have many shapes and you want to have something that is consistent all over and you might want to have the same width and the same color for the cutout. If that is the case, you can open the script in your notepad and here you have the user defined variables. The thickness here by default it says 999. It does not mean 999 pixels, it's just a code that the script will realize that if it's 999 it will ask you because that's not the right number. But maybe I want to have it at 20 pixels instead because I want to choose them myself. And for the cutout, maybe I want to have the cutout a certain color, but the same thing for every layer. So for the thickness, I can choose the value. And for the cutout, I enter one if I prefer the specific default color. And here's the color, 255, 255, 255 is the color RGB for white color. 
If I want a different color, I could put 200, 200, 200, which would be a sort of gray. But let's just go back to 250, 5, For white and then you just save it again you can save it at a different name if you want but that's fine if you just overwrite now let's go to our project I'll just select the first one and I will run the script Notice that it did not ask me for the color, for the thickness, for anything. It just did it on its own. So I do another one. Let's go with the pink. Another one. Let's go with the blue. Let's scroll down. Let's go with the green. Purple. And I had forgotten the yellow one on the very top. And now I'm done. So you can see how this can really save you a lot of time if you want some consistent thickness and color for all the elements on your project. And again, everything is still on its own layer but it's grouped together so you can move things around. And if you change your mind and you want to remove the background, you can always hide the background layer. If you want to change the color for the background layer, you can activate it, choose the lock transparency, and with the flood fill, you can pick a different color. Let's say I want to have a bright pink, hot pink. I'll click on my shape and there it is. I replace my yellow by a hot pink. This means that you can also use all your shapes created this way as templates where you can change the color of the background or even the outline, which in this case is white, but what if I want it blue? There it is. And the shadows are still there as I want. If I don't want them, I can hide them. No problem there. Or I can add my own. So this is how you can add quick cutout edges to various shapes on your projects. Have fun!